What's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to Get Wrecked. It is the morning of day nine. I've got uh, some skill points to spend here before we get started. Let me go into Intellect again, which is going to cost us two points. And then let's throw that other point into Strength, taking us to level four. All right, as you can see, I destroyed that hatch that was here with my uh, time charges, put in my own hatch. And there's a ladder going down into a cave, so... Uh, I guess we're going to go down here and see what the fuck is going on. I've got my tactical assault rifle ready to go. I got some pipe bombs just in case some shit jumps off. And we totally have an underground mine down here, which I wanted to make so we can do some mining after hours. And it's like, shit, we already have one. This goes down again. What the hell is going on here? Did I pick the craziest POI? Or what? I was like, I oh, will just stay in this little innocent looking cabin. What the fuck is going on down here? I better kill the light, right? Actually, I kind of want to see what's going on. Fuck it. What? Oh my god, look at all this loot! Well, oh, snakes! Well, snakes aren't bad. Easy to kill. Edible meat. No oh, shit. There's a bear down here. Shooting a machine gun at a whole bunch of snakes is just peak ridiculousness, isn't it? Well, they're all dead. The bear's got to be stuck on something. Oh, my God. Here it is. Oh, there's more than one in there. Killed one. Oh, I think I killed two. Let's get a pipe bomb. Catch, bitch. Okay. I think there's just one more. Oh my god, he's breaking fucking blocks. Alright. I think we're good. Well, damn, can you believe all this loot was just sitting down here? Alright, let's dig in. Whole bunch of ammo, that's fucking sweet. Some food and drink. Ooh, level three lever action rifle. I'll put that thing to use. Three pieces of paper. Fuck off with your three pieces of paper. Way to put the brakes on my excitement. Shotgun book. Breaching ammo, which, gotta be honest, I've never used before, but I heard it's pretty effective for, like, busting doors down. Ooh, nipples. I love putting nipples on my armor. Here we go. Uh, AP robotic turret ammo, and this is a great one. Basics of electricity schematic. Gonna need that if we want to add traps and shit to the base, which I certainly want to do. All right, let's get in here. Chop these bears up and see what else is going on. All right, so this is just the three bear cave. Let's chop them up. Here we go. Oh, shit. Those are the frames I put in. Oh, man. So this is where it would have dropped me down. If I would have fell when this floor gave out, I would have landed in a fucking right in between three bears. That would probably been certain death. Because I don't know if I would have had the wherewithal to get out of there before they fucking ate me. All right. We're going to be eating snake for a week. That's good. Food was a bit of an issue at the beginning of this series. Not an issue at all anymore. Drop some of this shit off, and then we'll go bust into that safe. I have one more time charge left, so we'll use that, and then we'll beat in the rest of the way. Very nice. Man, what a great morning for some loot. Gyrocopter chassis schematic, the impact driver schematic, which is a great one. Steel armor. 
Not a big deal. Blade Trap Bundle after finding the basics of electricity schematic. That's a nice little grab. And thankfully, it all went well, because that certainly could have gone south. All right, let me drop this shit off, and then I need to get wood, because we don't have any, which is an unfortunate thing, especially in the morning. You always want to have wood in the morning. Otherwise, there might be something wrong with you. <laughs> uh, get that checked out. It's usually blood flow. But then I want to do some work to the base, and then we'll hit the road. That's it on the concrete mix. All right, looking good though. I think if we do end up getting a whore tonight, this will be more than adequate to handle it. Now this area though, I've shown before that I can get up here relatively easily, but I don't think the zombies will be able to. The question is, are they going to try to? Now I will have uh, the sledge turret, which I'll put down right here, just in case they can get up this way. The sledge turret will then push them off. But I don't think zombies getting up here is going to be an issue. Now, if the whole horde is just gathering in this corner, continuously trying to jump up those pillars to no avail, and it becomes way too cheesy, then I'll fix that, because that was not my initial intention. All right, looking good on gas. Let me just drop some shit off, grab something to eat, and we'll hit the road. Yeah, my initial intention with that corner is to just break up the horde a bit. Have some of them trying to jump up there. This way they're not all just attacking the pillars. You know what? Let's get three cooking pots crafting in the forge. Grab this forged iron here because with the acid we found this morning, we can now craft the chem station. Beat the beaker. I crafted these 30 pipes last night and some forged iron, and that's all we're going to need with, of course, these three cooking pots. I know, I was so pumped on finding all that acid in the last episode, but I always forget you need five jugs of the shit to craft a chem station. But that's fine. I'm not in any rush to craft another vehicle. The mini bike's doing fine for now. I would much rather get this chem station put down. The gift shop POI that's shaped like a giant gift. I thought it was a clever design. That's why I put it in the intro. Let's check it out now and see uh, if there's any good loot inside. Ooh, big boy dead. Whoops. Dog's dead. We're just ripping right through them this morning. Uh, scrap, take, take. Paper, sure. Let's get our arrows back here. Got any food? No, but uh, Grandpa's awesome sauce. 20% better bartering. I'll take that. Ooh, I'll take that knife, too. Can always scrap it, but for now, I'll hold on to it and probably sell that thing. Uh, yeah, I'll take the plastic parts, too. Here's some zombs. Dead. Not part of the gift POI, but easy XP. I'll take it. Looking pretty clear. Oh, never mind. Yeah, now they're spawning in. Kenny's dead. Other Kenny's dead. Nurse is dead. What a strangely designed POI, huh? Not that that's a bad thing. It's just different. Different is good. Well, it can be good. Uh, nope. We got some feathers. Yeah, ten of them. All right, let's turn these arrowheads into arrows. With four left, I'll just scrap those. Regular old bandage, I'm good on that. And I will take both of these things. Oh, sorry. Did me robbing your register wake you up? There you go. Back to sleep with you. Uh-oh. We got zombies approaching, and this place is not 
the best for security, considering it's made of glass. Oh, shit. We got a cop. We got a bugger. Got all sorts of zombies approaching. That cop is running. Let's deal with him. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Get out of here, bird. Nice. Uh-oh. Yep. Fuck off. Oh, another bird sent to space. Eat your heart out, NASA. Meanwhile, they're sending monkeys and shit up the space. Actually, not anymore. I think, what, the 80s was the last time they sent a monkey into fucking space? How many dead monkeys do you think are orbiting the planet right now? Come on in, dog. Dead. Actually, I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people to think NASA was, like, murdering monkeys and shit. I'm pretty sure the monkey flights were suborbital, meaning they went into space and then came back down. Not that the fucking monkey understood any of that. You ever see that picture of, I think his name was Ham, right? The, the first monkey in space. He had a fucking NASA helmet on and shit. He looked scared as fuck. He, don't know, he didn't know what was going on. Like, they explained it to him. It's uh, Relax, man. It's only going to be suborbital. <laughs> he would, they were like, eh, just get, no, Ham, listen, just get inside this rocket ship, put this fucking construction helmet on, you'll be fine, probably. Back up, fall down, alright, let's take the floor out. That's the benefit of having a glass floor. See ya, bitch. Dead. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, how many zombies are up here? Come on. Ah, just one more? Not a big deal. Oh, three more? Okay. All right. Looking good. Dead. Come on. Fucking die. All right. That was good. Going loud. Probably not the best decision. But I think this is it. I don't think there's really much to this POI. Take that. Mm, good on that. There's an ammo crate here, which is nice. All right. And, uh... What else? Huh. Ammo pile and some trash. Uh, I'll scrap those. Good on that. Actually, I'll take the plastic parts, since we already took some. Can I get up there like this? No? Is there an invisible ceiling that I can't see? No? Maybe I can jump up there from the ladder? Oh yeah, there's a crate. I could make that jump. Nice. Alright. It's not bad. Not a ton of loot, but definitely an interesting creative POI and worth checking out. Back up, lady. Hey, what's up with all these feral zombies? Oh, we're in a city. That's what's up with them. Fucking feral city. That's what this city should be called. Get out of here, Kenny. Now I should just run instead of going loud again, but fuck it. Gotta show them who's boss. God damn. I guess they're thinking the same thing. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh my god. We're bleeding. I'm infected. Man, we got a laceration. Sprain lag. That went bad really fast. See ya. That's what's nice about having your stun baton charged up ahead of time. Let's check this car. Ooh, a couple ratchets. I'll scrap the level one. Hold on to the level two. And let's see what's up with this military outlet right here. How do I get in? I mean, I could just bust through the fence. Maybe there's an opening around here. Ooh, what is that? There's a shotgun messiah place over there. Oh, it's a big giant gun. That's fun. Can we go inside? I don't know. I'll have to check it out at some point. Let's stick with this military place for now, though. Let's 
few nails. I think I'll scrap those. Get out of here. We good? Boop. No, I think I uh, sent that bird to space too. Dead. Oh, give me a break. Ah, back up. This POI being so open like this. I think we're just going to constantly be attracting attention here. But, it is what it is. Holy shit. Ammo pile. Nice. Get out of here. Here comes the dog. He's dead. Oh, took that cop's head off. That wasn't so bad. Oh, shit. All right, uh, let's get back up there then. Shooting down on him from the top of that ladder. Seemed to work out pretty good. Beating on that bus. And there it goes. They're getting up, though. All right. That wasn't so bad. Good thing there's a watchtower at every corner of this place. Oh, hey there. Uh, I'm just looking for some first aid supplies. Antibiotics would be good. God damn it. Painkiller in a blood bag. Armored parts. Uh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I got uh, a couple of sewing kits in the mini bike. We can at least go clear up this laceration. Oh, hey, buddy. Is this your watchtower? Well, not anymore, bitch. Dead. Oh, shit. They're piling out of that other tent. Get out of the way. That cop's dead. There's another one, though. And there better be some good loot here. What was that bullshit? I want to check that, um... That working stiff tools truck in the background there. Come here, buddy. There's a way out right here. Let's check the mailbox, too. Take that. Sell that. Oh, finally a decent shovel. Get rid of this stone piece of shit. Let's take that digger mod off of it first. Put that in the new shovel. Get rid of that stone. I don't need that. Another cop. Oh, that was easy. All right, there's a downstairs here that says Metro. So I'm assuming there's a subway below, which sounds crazy. But before we go check that out, I want to clear all the tents up here, obviously. First. Come on. Here we go. Dead. Ah, the first aid tent. Well, that's good. Hopefully they got antibiotics in here. I'll take the first aid bandage. Should probably use one. Let's see. Give me something good. Uh, another first aid bandage, which isn't bad. But not what I was looking for. Oh, look at this. M60 schematic. That's nice. Some zombies coming in on this end. Oh, he got his goo on me. Dead. Sand, nah. Let's see what we got up here. Just a zombie. Oh, God, man, I keep taking these bullshit hits. 
It's not going great. Let's take that dog out before it gets in here. Nice. All right, let's see what we got in this tent. Maybe we could be sneaky about this one. Okay, not bad. Mm, son of a bitch. Got him. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to use the spear. Oh, more goo on me. What? Another phantom hit. That's some bullshit. Man, I am getting torn up. You know what it is, and I keep forgetting, I'm running, like, light padded armor. I'm used to running heavy armor. I like that shit, because then I can take a beating. I can't really take the beatings that I'm used to anymore. The, the kicker is I'm not even being sneaky. So I'm wearing this shit for nothing. Alright, down into the metro. Oh my god. What the fuck? What was that? Oh, this is... This is where I die, isn't it? Oh! There's something going on under the steps. Yep. Is that where something blew up? Well, that door's barricaded. Yeah, this is definitely a place where people go to die. Hopefully not us, though. This is all open. Come here, fellas. Oh, shit. All right. Back up. You die. Right now. Thank you. Yep. Oh, sweet. All right, Kenny's dead. There we go. I think we're good for a second. Oh, nice. Oh, look, this stuff's all damaged. Maybe this is where the explosion happened. Give me a break. Here we go. Fuck you. Probably shouldn't be going loud. But it's quiet now, so we're good. Here we are. Moe's dead. Weapons bag right there. Uh oh. Sounds like somebody else woke up. Or not. Maybe that was uh, above us? He's a runner. Oh, yep. Yeah. They're in the background. Uh oh. Just these two? Hopefully. Dead? Come on, buddy. Ooh, level two shooting junkie. Should definitely make some ammo for that fucking thing tonight. Start taking that out with us. I'll have a little backup. Take those nerdy glasses. Got a Shamway Foods right here, which I'm not really needing food right now. I need antibiotics, but I'll check it out anyway. Learn an elixir. Hey, what would you like, lady? Today's special? Sure, coming right up. Nice. Nice. Bunch of money. And a bunch of food. I don't need any more food. Dead. What? What is stopping my arrows? What the fuck? They're just in- they're just floating in space. Here we go. That was weird. Good on the lead. Oh, shit! Oh, boy. Some more back here. I mean, this is like the... 
not the trauma unit, but this is like where the sick people go. So maybe we'll get lucky. Find some antibiotics here. I'm pretty sure I have an antibiotic back at home, but, you know, obviously if we can find one out here in the wild, that would be better. Hello. Should probably use one of these first aid bandages too. I'm getting my ass kicked. Well, no antibiotics, but at least we have damn near full health now, so we don't gotta worry about dying. I mean, I guess we still have to worry about dying. Because anything can happen, we are underground right now. It is now raining and thundering, but that just started. If that was Horde Thunder, it would be happening like every eight seconds, and it would have started at hour 18, which it didn't, so... Um... Sure, we're not getting a horde tonight, which is kind of a shame. I kind of wanted a horde tonight to test out the base. Uh, when was the horde? On day four. So that means if we don't get one tomorrow, we're definitely getting one on day 11. Here's the loot room. Just him in there? I guess so. That's a nice pile of loot. Definitely worth it. I do not want to get cornered in here, though. That would not be good. Alright. Let's be quick about this. Even though I got to beat into that chest. That's not going to be quick. Ooh, electric fence post schematic. That's the first trap I want to add to the base. Unless we found... The basics of electricity today, so we can craft a battery bank. We'll have to go out tomorrow taking apart cars. See how many batteries we can get. That's great. Now all we need is the crucible. It'll be fucking smooth sailing. Sort of. Shit. Oh, get out of here, you little bastard. I thought he was above us. Man, we gotta get in this chest and get the hell out of here. Not bad. Uh, just read this shit. Yeah, we have one antibiotic. All right. I mean, we could take two jars of honey, but uh, screw it. We'll just take the antibiotic. I'll get more. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this episode. We'll get all this loot put away, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 10. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more. Get wrecked, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.